Hello guys, what is here? So here it's a power supply board. You know, sometimes we are losing the signal from the speakers. The power amplifier is not opening, it's not running. Why? Because it can be a problem on the power supply board. The power supply board is usually the first thing which you have to check in case of some malfunction of the amplifier, receiver, video, CD, cassette, reel-to-reel, -reel, vinyl, doesn't matter. Uh, you have to check first of all the main cable if it's in good shape, if you receive the voltage inside of the of the main. You have to check the fuses, you have to check the transformers, and after that you have the power supply. Like you see, this power supply here is not using no any no any fuse because the fuse are on the front of this one because you will have the mains connected on the power supply. After that you have a fuse for the primary of the transformer. After that you will have, a, you can you see this, on the diagram. I have here a diagram, so you see, you have the transformer, mains primary of the transformer which, which is connected on the mains power supply. Here you will have somewhere here, usually it's a fuse. Yeah, it's connected here. You can have also some, um, somewhere here you have the switch. Yeah. And here you'll have the, the plug, yeah? On some amplifiers you have also a soft start. What means this soft start? You have a resistor, also a thermal fuse, and you'll connect here, yeah? This, everything belongs to the soft start. It's bypassed with a relay, yes? With R1. So here is the switch, number one. You will connect this switch, you will energize the primary of the transformer, and from this, from plus, you will have a wire which is coming on the coil of this relay. Yeah? So here it's plus, and here it's the ground. Yeah. So after you will uh, power on your device, the voltage is coming here because you will switch off the, the you will switch on the switch. The voltage is passing through the fuse, it's coming on the primary of the transformer. This resistor, which is voltage, voltage drop resistor, and here it's a thermal fuse connected on the fuse on the on the resistor. Yeah? In this moment, you will have energized this bridge, full bridge rectifier. You will have a plus which is coming from this part here. The plus is going on the one terminal of the coil of relay and the ground which is here. In this moment, the relay it will close and you will have you will bypass the soft start. So you have to check this section here after that the transformer usually on some devices you have also fuses on the both both uh, f1 f2 on both outputs of transformers on the secondary winding so you have also to check this fuse so let's suppose all everything here is okay you have problem with power supply so on the power supply usually on uh, so this is a variable power supply exactly like like is here which i put on front of you but here are more power supplies but we'll discuss about one yeah so this is a, a, a diagram for this power supply this power supply is it's, it's uh, having uh, have like components like that a full wave bridge rectifier so you'll have here the plus which is going on top so let's take a highlighter and we will discuss exactly what's going on yeah so you have the plus from these diodes yeah from the cathodes of diodes and the plus where is going so it's going on the collector of Q2 it's going on the collector of Q1 it's going on this resistor and it's going on this capacitor yeah? ok, now we'll make the minus let's uh, take for the minus we'll take we'll take green so you'll have the anodes of the diodes yeah, it's going like that it's coming here you will have C1. What is C1? C1 is the smoothed capacitor for the from the for the DC voltage which is coming from from this full bridge rectifier. Yeah. So here on the bridge, you have plus, which is here. So keep in mind, plus it's this in this point, minus it's in this point. Yeah. Also ground. If you have you can have also center tap transformer, but we discuss only about this one, yeah? So you'll have the minus here. Here, C1 is the filtering capacitor. 
filtering and smoothing capacitor. So what is doing this? He is helping the, the, the voltage to be smoothed better after the outlet from the diodes. Yeah? Okay, so we discuss about the plus. Let's continue with the minus. Where is going the minus? So minus is going to the ground. Also on this capacitor is going down here and is going on the output. Is going also on this resistor. Is going also on this diode. Is going also on this resistor. And here you'll have minus. Yeah. And here you'll have plus. So here is the output. Yeah. So let's say here on the on the output of these diodes we have. So you see here it's 0, 30 volts. So let's say we have 35 volts here on this plus, yeah? Okay, so if you are looking here, we have these two transistors, Q1 and Q2. Q1 and Q2, it's a, you know what is it? It's a Darling, Darlington pair, yeah? So both of them, they are doing a Darlington pair, yeah? This Q1, he is connected on this point here, yeah? On this point here, what you have? We'll have this transistor with the collector of these transistors. Transistor, he is going on the base of Q1. Yeah? And what's happening here? This Q3, he is taking the reference voltage from the output, from the output, yes, from plus output. So this plus output here is totally different than the plus, which is here. Yeah? So he's taking this voltage from here. This section here, R6, R5, and R4, yeah, what is here? We are calling this voltage divider, adjustable voltage divider. So we'll make like that. Yeah. So here is resistor number four, resistor number five, and resistor number six. These resistors he is making a voltage divider, but because R5 is not a resistor, it's a trimmer. Or pot or variable resistor yeah? so this one you can play it's exactly like potentiometer yeah? you can play and you can adjust the voltage on the output why because the reference here it will be modified all the time yeah because on this resistor you can choose different different value so according with this the signal after that it's sent on the base of q1 the Q1 is giving the signal on the base of Q2 and on the output you will have this regulated supply. Yeah? So after that you will have regulated supply which is going on plus. Yeah? Okay, so this is doing the bias of this Q3 transistor. Also here you will have a signal Let's make the signal with yellow. Like that. C number two, it's also the stabilization capacitor for the base of Q1. Yeah, he's taking care about the stabilization of smoothing and stabilization of the base of Q1 for better uh, for better performance. Yeah. And after that, the signal is going on the base of Q2. And you will have the, the output from this Q2 transistor. Yeah. So this is a diagram. Like you see here, it's uh, it's it's stated very clear down how it's how it's going. Yeah. So this is a mini variable power supply. It's totally transistorized, and it's uh, it's it can vary its output in a wide range of voltages, and can be used for projects where the current consumption is maximum one amp. Okay. You can modify this diagram for more more uh, more current yeah the circuit it's uh, use uses only three transistor and due to its simplicity it's a special project for beginners who want to have a small power supply with great future okay but this um, i said this uh, this construction you can find in more and more amplifiers receivers it's a it's a very simple but it's very very uh, very good yeah the power supply uses a step down transformer to obtain a voltage on 24 in alternating current yeah so you have 24 volts ac yeah on the on the secondary of transformer this voltage is rectified rectified in full wave by a group of four rectifier in the iodes d1 d2 d3 d4 yeah this three here 
this four, pardon, sorry. And then smooth it with capacitors you want, which is active, which is acting like a filter, exactly like I said, yeah. So filtering capacitor which is acting like a filter. The voltage is then applied to the collectors of transistor Q1 and Q2. The voltage at the base of transistor Q1 is governed by the collector of transistor Q3, which depends on the potentiometer F5. It's correct, yeah. So I said the voltage divider, variable voltage divider, which is going for on the base of Q3, and after that on the base of Q2. Q1, sorry, and Q1 is giving the signal on the base of Q2, which is acting like a Darlington transistor. Okay. The potentiometers modify the bias of transistor Q3 and therefore its collector emitter. Yeah, its collector emitter. Voltage, the collector voltage transistor. Yeah, so how is doing this? Because also he is signal from here, he will have here a diode. And because of this voltage here, let's make like that. Okay, which is coming from R3 and it's going like that, yeah? So you will take this signal and you are putting this signal from emitter to collector of Q3 and after that so on, yeah? So that potential of Q3 and therefore is collector emitter. The collector voltage of transistor Q3, so the collector uh, of Q3 in turn modifies the voltage of the base of transistor Q2 via Q1. So it's modifying this voltage here via Q1. So Q1 is first, Q2 is second. Transistor Q3 will conduct according to the voltage at its base and it's in turn will modify the voltage at the base of Q2, is normal, which is the transistor that delivers the voltage according to the law. Transistor Q1 and Q2 are connected in such a way that they behave like a Darlington transistor. Okay, we know already this. Varying the position of the potentiometer row varies the voltage of transistor Q3, which it in turn controls the voltages and current of the transistor Q1 in Q2. Correct. The set of resistor R4, R6 and potentiometer R5 for a variable voltage divider that allows the output voltage to be modified. Of course, electrolytic capacitor number two helps stabilize the voltage at the base of transistor Q1, exactly like we said, yeah. And electrolytic capacitor 3, ah, so I forget about this. Electrical capacitor number 3 helps stabilize the output voltage of the source, yeah. So also this one is very important here. Like you saw, some amplifiers have uh, bigger capacitors on the outputs. And it's normal to be like that because this one is helping you to filter. And it's helping, it's exactly like an accumulator, yeah. Try to imagine you have a reservoir of the water, yeah. Instead to have only a pipe with water. So that pipe with water you'll put an, an, uh, an, uh, in a reservoir and after that you'll, you'll need water, you'll take the water from the, that reservoir. So it's something like that. So you have half an inch, uh, one half an inch pipe, yeah? And you here, if you're opening this pipe, you'll have the, the jet uh, uh, spread only, let's say, one meter, yeah? If you are, if you are using, or the, the flow, yeah? And the flow depends of the of the diameter of the pipe. But if you if you put this pipe in a big accumulator, yeah, you will put here a, a, a valve, flow flow floater valve, yeah, to be closed automatically with the level. And from here, you will put three or four pipes. You will have more flow, yeah. Okay, for amount of time. But this is the role that this is the designation of accumulator to fluctu to reduce the fluctuation, yeah. Because here, if you'll have some fluctuation on the pipe, you will see also fluctuation on the output of the pipe. But if I will have here a certain level, like example, if I will have uh, three cubic meters of water here, doesn't have a, it doesn't matter if I will have here fluctuation because this tank is already full, so here I will not have fluctuation. You understand? This is what's going on with this capacitor. So try to imagine this capacitor is like a tank. This capacitor is charging. Yes, it remains charged and you will consume the power directly from these transistors, from this Q2 transistor, yeah? and, uh, which is regulating the output. And this filtering capacitor he is helping you to reduce the what? Leave in the question. <laughs> okay. So this is how it's going on with the power supply. On this board here, because we will present also, on the board you have like that. You will have the transformer, which is in another, uh, it's, which is external, yeah. You will have full bridge rectifier, 
You can say this are, is the fuel bridge rectifier. Yeah? You have also some filtering capacitors for this. Yeah. After that, we will have a Darlington pair transistor. One is here, the other one is down here. Yeah. So it's creating a Darlington transistor. For this transistor, it's better to use a heatsink like this here, yeah, because this one it will it will warm, yeah, because you have here 35 volts. Here you want to have two volts, yeah. So 35 minus two, how much means? Means 33 minus the voltage minus the the voltage drop on the junction. You will have, let's say, and of course for better regulation, let's say you will have 30 volts across this transistor yeah multiply with one amp you have 30 watts so it's a lot of power here this transistor which is here he can uh, he can handle 8 amps and 50 watts yeah so we can do this job with trans this transistor without any problem but you'll need heat sink yeah so we said here is the darlington pair after that you'll need some capacitor which is this one like example for smoothing the q1 uh, q1 base yeah filtering capacitors we can count on these two which are really big yeah c2 we said already it's one of this one after that we have some resistors you will see here another uh, uh, another resistor for the base of q3 so q3 we can count on this one yeah which is taking about which is taking care about the regulation of this uh, Q1, which is part of this Darlington, Q1, which is which is here, yeah, okay. You will have this voltage divider on the outputs, min plus and minus, yeah. So one, two, and three is Q5, uh, sorry R5, which is the trimmer. You can see here, and on the output you have another capacitor, which can be this one here, 1000 microfarads, 35 volts. So you see. More or less, this is how it looks a power supply. But here on this board, we have one power supply, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, sixth one. So this board he is using five power supply. So it's a lot of it's a lot of uh, a lot of numbers of power supplies here. So this is how it's going with the power supply. It's very simple if you understand what's going on. It's simple to diagnose and to fix in case of something. If you like this kind of videos, don't forget to thumb, thumb up, share with others, leave comments. Uh, if I made some mistakes, sorry for that. It's uh, it's it's happening. It's uh, it's normal. I don't know if you have some feedbacks or comments or suggestions, don't hesitate to to let down on the comments and don't forget to check also the rest of of the videos you will find more uh, more interesting stuff there so stay tuned new video they released pay attention remain safe pay attention for everything what you are doing disconnect from the mains discharge capacitors i'm saying all the time i don't want to to know you hurt somehow yeah okay see you stay tuned see you soon bye bye